Espionage, conspiracy, and political intrigue have proved a winning formula on Iranian state TV. A new spy series, Gando, has won big audiences in Iran, particularly among conservative viewers. The show sees a team of elite forces battling hostile foreigners and an inept government. And it has a clear message for Iran's real-life moderate government, that cooperation with the West is a betrayal of the country. As the fallout from the U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal becomes increasingly toxic, this is a subject that resonates strongly within Iran. The head of Iran's state TV is appointed directly by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei. As the country's sole broadcaster, it promotes his ultra-conservative ideas. And he has certainly spoken many times about the threats of Western infiltration. The plot of Gondo sees the hero Mohammed dismantle a spy network led by a dual national. His nemesis, Michael Hashemian, is a journalist by trade, employed by the U.S. to explore how Iran is seeking to bypass sanctions. On the surface, the story closely resembles that of Washington Post journalist Jason Rezaian, who was jailed in Iran for 18 months on charges of espionage, which he denies. He was released after Iran signed a nuclear deal with Western powers. Rezaian has felt the need to distance himself from the show. Besides being fat, bald, and wearing glasses, there is no similarity to me or anything that has happened in my life. The filmmakers insist the series is based on real events. But Iran's foreign ministry disagrees. A new season of the show has already been commissioned.